Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qudaybiyah Palace a number of royal family members and officials where he discussed with them a number of local and international affairs. His Royal Highness stated that maintaining the country's security and stability guarantees the continuity of the development system in the kingdom, witnessing in various fields. The Prime Minister affirmed that the National Action March, led by His Majesty the King, will continue to achieve process and prosperity for the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness also asserted the government's keenness to further develop the kingdom and preserve its security and stability and achieve more gains for the country and its people. His Royal Highness recalled the role of alt older generations and their achievements in the kingdom's development march. The Prime Minister affirmed that the current challenges facing the world require the awareness of all to combat anything that would destabilize security and stability. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain's relations with all countries are based on mutual respect and cooperation in all that contributes to the achievement of peace and security in the world. In the presence of the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the President of the Bahrain Basketball Association, an honorary President of the Good Word Society, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the award ceremony of the Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa for volunteering was held yesterday in its eighth edition. The event was attended by Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, Southern Governor. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, as well as a number of ministers, along with representatives of the League of Arab States, the Arab Union of Vo for Volunteering Work, and a number of Arab and foreign ambassadors accredited to the kingdom. During the ceremony, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support of humanitarian efforts in the kingdom. Sheikh Isa also expressed thanks and gratitude to Deputy Premier. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa for his exerted efforts in backing this award. Sheikh Isa congratulated the pioneers of Arab volunteer work and affirmed that Bahrain has great future aspirations thanks to the collaborative efforts of its people and their unity under their leadership. He added that spirit of giving is an essential part of the Bahraini people, which has resulted in numerous initiatives that serve society, economically and socially, thus making volunteer work a significant part of development plans in the kingdom and encourage the private sector to uphold its duty towards society. Sheikh Isa bin Ali continued to state that the event provides the opportunity to meet the pioneers of volunteer work in the Arab world, who reflect the values of humanity. The director of the Department of Civil Society Organizations at the League of Arab States, Nasri Baghdadi Al Arjah, hailed the award and its role in reinforcing volunteer work in the Arab world. She expressed the Arab League's keenness, along with its Secretary General, Ahmed Abu Ghait, to continue supporting this award. Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa awarded the best volunteer project in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the category of individuals, teams and companies.
Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to pay visits to fields of work, councils and governorates, as well as meeting citizens, the Electricity and Water Affairs Minister, Abdul Hussain Mirza, and a number of officials paid a visit to Maharra Governorate to meet its people and listen to their needs. The people of Maharraq presented their notes and requirements regarding water and electricity services and ways to further improve those services in order to benefit the people of Bahrain. The minister discussed the results and statistics that showed remarkable improvement in electricity and water services this year, as well as facilities in the services provided by the Electricity and Water Authority to citizens, in accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The minister also explained the use of clean energy through the use of solar energy and wind energy and the extent to which institutions and individuals benefit from this renewable energy. Mahara Governor Salman bin Hindi expressed thanks and appreciation to the minister and the officials for meeting with the citizens and meeting their needs. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Hussain Mirza delivered the keynote speech at the Bahrain British Business Forum meeting at the Diplomat Hotel. British Ambassador to Bahrain Simon Martin and Foreign Chairman Khalid Al Zayani, along with more than 200 Bahraini and British businessmen from various sectors, were present. The minister highlighted the deep rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, especially in the field of electricity, water, and renewable energy. Energy. Dr. Mirza highlighted the government's keenness and interest in encouraging investment in clean energy and sustainable development. He praised the Bahrain British Business Forum and said it had benefited the national economy and further strengthened the relations of the two friendly countries. The ambassador said British companies are keen to invest and take part in existing and future projects. Spread the awareness about the government's plans for the renewable energy and energy efficiency and the progress that has been made so far and in today's presentation I presented the latest developments in this area for example there is a 100 megawatt solar farm project which is which has been tendered and hopefully the tenders will, will be received by 26th of September. It brings together major uh, British uh, and Bahraini businesses, all of whom have a common interest in developing the, the relationship. Uh, and the Bahraini and British economies are very well matched. The, we, we, we find that we, uh, the, the interest of Britain in Bahrain and of Bahrain in Britain are very mutually supporting. So there, there, is, we, there are not many areas where Britain and Bahrain compete. There are only areas where we collaborate, which is fantastic. It is natural for us to take advantage of uh, energy cheap and clean and renewable. And this is what the Bahrain government is encouraging people to do. Uh, imagine how much savings there is that can be done. We've got the targets to um, ensure that uh, renewable energy um, is, is, is achieved in the region. And this will you know, go, go a great way to doing that. Um, it's great for the environment. Our technology is, 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 is painted in terms of what it, how it works. Emissions are pretty much zero.